Uh, welcome back to another session of wood burning. Um, today we're on a new project. I just finished the Tree of Life. Um, so today I want to start, uh, finish actually this project that I started so long ago. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, I did this line work back in November. October and November, but the design itself I've been working on for probably a better part of a year. So, um, you know, I did a, a drawing and I was doing some studies on um, Mother's Knot, which is what this is called. This is a version of a Celtic Mother's Knot. And um, I'm thinking that today I'm going to try and tackle a little bit of the shading for the knot. Um, my vision for this is that I want the, the knot and the foliage to be darker than this frame that you see behind it. That's kind of what I see in my head. So hopefully, hopefully it works out. <laughs> um, but yeah, today we're just going to tackle um, some shading here and, and give it some some depth um, where the lines over overlap and we'll see um, how it goes. So um, let's get started on this. Let's pick a spot, right? Any spot will do. Hopefully I got this the right temperature. And again, just like I did with the knot, I think I'm just gonna go in lightly first, see how I like it. And if I don't like it that light, then I'll go in darker, which it's looking like I'm going to have to go in darker. But I'm going to start light first and see how this goes. And I'm just kind of going in close to the line to kind of shade it close to the line. I don't want to go too dark with this because I, I really am thinking that I want the leaves to be darker than this. So, yeah. But we'll see how this goes. Again, I'm just getting in close to the line. section yeah let's give it a little bit of something here yeah it's definitely going to need to be darker so I may be moving this piece around a little bit hopefully I stay in focus forgive me if I don't because I've been I'm kind of just getting my head wrapped around doing this kind of stuff on camera and uh, I'm kind of used to just doing my own thing. I tend to be very physical with my work and I move myself and my piece around a lot so uh, let's see. Let Go back over this a little bit and see how I like it. This is um, an interesting design. I'll we'll talk about that in a minute. I just want to finish this and kind of back off and take a look at it. Yeah, okay, I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of liking it. All right, so we'll keep going like that. Um, after I get off camera, I'll probably do a lot of touch-ups and detail work and things like that. So um, I'm not worried about doing details right now. I'm just kind of worried about laying down a little bit of shading for depth to kind of bring it off the page, make it stand out. And uh, 
yeah, give a little contrast and things like that. So this has been a while in the making. Like I said, I drew out this design probably two years ago or a year and a half ago, if I'm being honest. And then this plaque has been sitting here for better part of six months waiting for me to tackle it. I did the line work, but that was as far as I got. Because, you know, life and other projects. And it's okay. Everything in its own time. So this mother's knot. So the symbolism of it is the union, the, the, the words are, are escaping me right now, I'm sorry. But yeah, it's basically the, the union of mother and child, that, that attachment that's there, you know, from moment of conception, right? Um, us mothers, we have an eternal attachment to our children. So that's kind of what this symbolizes. It's that, that bond between mother and child. And there have been, there's a lot of different variations of this. There's a lot of different things. When I first started, I think it was for Mother's Day two, two years ago, I was trying to find a, a nice design to do for you know a Celtic plaque or something, and I was just brainstorming. I was doing some research on mother's knots and there's so many different designs that come up that are called mother's knot and I don't know that there's any particular knot that's completely traditional I think this was the one that I found that felt closest to something that was more traditional and less modern but even so I don't even know that this is traditional so we um, I said I wasn't going to do details, and here I am going in putting in some details. But anyway, so yeah, this is just kind of one version where you have a stack of hearts that are inter interlaced, and, and in some versions, it's the knot you have a, a main heart, and then each one under it signifies how many children you have. So there's other, like I said, there's other versions. I don't know, hopefully I'm on camera here, but um, something similar to this I've seen where you have this loop and then there's other loops that symbolize children. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of different, different types of uh, mother's knots out there. So I just chose this one and I kind of fiddled with it and made it my own and you know, it was something that I had envisioned putting on a plaque like this. Originally, I actually I thought I was going to put it on a plate, um, like the Tree of Life that I have. But to be brutally honest, when I when I looked at it and I looked at the shape of the plate and the shape of the of this design, it just wasn't going to go. It wasn't going to work. This is suited more for a rectangular plaque than than a round one. So, all right, so I kind of played with it and then I wanted, I got it on the plaque and I said, okay, now it's there, Where else? what else do I want to do? And then I decided to play around with the, the border. And I think I was going to do like a knot work border and I realized that that was going to take away from the knot in the center. So that didn't work out. So there were a lot of different, it took me a while to work out what I wanted, what exactly I wanted this to look like. And I finally settled on, I started drawing a border, like a frame, like a picture frame. And it just needed, it needed something. And so these uh, 
triquetra, I think that's what it's called, uh, that, that triangular, triangular shape. Um, I decided to do that and we have like a vine theme going on here. So yeah, some of the details will be, I may go in and do a little bit of texturizing and I like to use dots to texturize, that's kind of my thing, I don't know why. Um, and I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to get done today, to be honest. I, I'm just kind of wanted to turn the camera on and, and see how far we go with it. Um, so far I'm kind of liking it. I'm liking where it's going. Let's see. I may go in and do a little bit more detail work in some parts of this, but I just want to lay down some color first, get some, get a range of colors in, not colors, but shades, shades, and see how we go. I'm liking this. Alright. In the last couple of videos I did, I think I, I made them rather long. Um, I don't think I'm going to make this one as long. I'm starting to realize that the... Um, I'm going to turn this. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah. Um, starting to realize that the longer videos um, are more difficult for me to process in YouTube, so, um, I'm new to this, so I'm trying to, like, simplify my life, because I also have a lot going on. So we'll see how far we go here. Um, we'll at least do the top, the top part. I'll at least get that done, so we can get some kind of idea of what this is going to look like. And then I think we'll uh, call it a day. So let me know what you think down in the in the comments. Let me know if you do wood burning or if you draw or you play around with Celtic knots. I'm thinking about starting a series of tutorials for drawing Celtic knots. Um, let me know if that's something you're interested in. I'm actually thinking about creating some ebooks, um, possibly to sell on Amazon for just short tutorials for Celtic knots and maybe a little on their meanings and things like that. So that's something, you know, that sounds interesting. Let me know. I'd like some feedback. Because it sounds like a lot of work. And I'm sure it is going to be a lot of work. Uh, I did find a couple of older tutorials, like real quick tutorial videos that I found from a few years back that I'll probably post. Alright, what do we think so far? So far, I'm definitely going to need to go in and darken some of this for sure. But uh, again, I don't want to make this a long video, so we're going to do that off camera. I just kind of want to keep going here. All right, let's start here. So yeah, if, um, I'm thinking I did a couple of videos that, that I posted on Instagram. 
and uh, they weren't published to YouTube, but I may pull them out of storage and put them on YouTube. I'm not sure why this feels like it's getting lighter. Um, anyway, so I'm going to pull those YouTube those uh, videos up and try and see if I can post them on this channel here. Maybe make a few more. But I may make some, create some ebooks as well, tutorials to sell, like on Amazon or whatever. Um, just because I, I think it's fascinating. I think this art, type of artwork, not work, is, is fascinating. And uh, this is going on really light. And the thing is, it's not the burner, it's the wood. The wood itself is... I've said in a previous video that basswood, that this, this particular crafty basswood is not the best for wood burning. So I th I'm, I'm getting ready to, uh, I'm going to finish some of the projects I've already started, but I'm, I'm going to start thinking about getting some better types of wood um, that are, that burn cleaner, because I need to be able to burn clean lines. And, uh, I don't always get them with this type of wood. So, anyway. If you haven't visited my webpage yet, this is going to be a shameless plug. If you haven't visited my website yet, go ahead and uh, check it out. Um, it is a work in progress. Um, in some respects. I mean, it's pretty much, it's there, it, it's, it's the way I want it to look, but there's a couple things that I'm going to be adding in shortly. So, but you can go in and you can take a look at uh, some of my previous art pieces under my Celtic art tab. I make fairy houses, wooden fairy houses. Um, I make candle holders, I make faux floral arrangements. Uh, I am open for custom requests, so if you have a special person that might be interested in a piece of artwork like this or some of the other stuff that I make, like the faux florals and um, which are nice for weddings and things and gifts, uh, or, you know, candle holders, fairy houses, um, yeah, just shoot me a, a, an email, that's probably the best way to get a hold of me is the email, and let me know, just be aware that, um, these are being done handmade, so they are, they are going to take a bit to do if I'm starting from scratch it's you know you're talking a couple of months out so that's I'm just putting that out there I don't like to rush I like to make sure that I create something that I think is beautiful and quality Closing in on the top of this one. Let's see. I'm definitely going to be going back and doing some detail work here, darkening some areas and uh, things like that. What are we missing here? All right. So I think we're going to. 
I'm gonna do this, the rest of this heart here, and then we're gonna call it, call it a day. And I think off camera, I will do some detail work. So next video that I do, you'll see some of the details. And then we'll probably do this second heart in that video. I didn't have much of a plan for this, to be honest. I just said, you know what, I'm gonna just come in here and start shading and see where it goes. So, believe how quiet my house is right now. I have five people living here so it's very difficult to get a get a slice of time where there isn't somebody up and about. And I have two cats so you know they are napping. I'm sure at some point or another you'll be introduced to those cats because they are my shadows. They follow me everywhere. When I go to the bathroom, they stand outside the bathroom door and howl. I don't know how healthy that is, but you know, <laughs> it's cute, but I worry about them. That's some separation anxiety right there. But anyway. just the beginnings of some of the details that I want to do um, so yeah I think I think that's we're at 22 minutes so I think we're gonna just kind of give um, call this a day I'm gonna go in definitely and darken darken this just a little bit not too much just a little bit and uh, so next time we you see this piece, I'll have some detail work done in this heart, and then we'll spend a little bit of time finishing the heart. And then, then we'll take it from there. Pretty sure these leaves are gonna be very dark, uh, and these vines here are gonna be very dark. So that's another day, another video. Okay, so I think we're going to um, call it a day, and I want to thank you for joining me today. Uh, leave, you know, leave some comments, let me know what you think of, um, of the piece, let me know what you think of uh, tutorials. Um, check out my website, um, and check me out on um, all of my social media, follow me. Um, leave me some messages. Um, you'll find all my social media links um, in my YouTube uh, description and in uh, on my website. So there's you can find me easily. There's links to everything. Okay, and uh, thank you for joining me today. And until next time, have a great day.